Hey everyone, Richard Metal Fan here, bringing you guys a somewhat old school album review. Um, I just decided to review this album because this album had hit its, well, five year anniversary, well, today. I know it's weird, like, talking about an album that came out, like, five years ago today when it, I should be talking about, like, the 10 year, 15 year anniversaries, which I've done before. But yeah, I just decided to review this album because, you know, it's from one of my all time favorite bands period and I'm still kicking myself for review for not reviewing this when it first came out but hey better late than never right as you can see below the title today we're going to be looking into Ever Black by the Black Dahlia Murder this was released on July 11 June 11th 2013 through Metal Blade Records as you can see my copy is signed by Trevor Sternad, Brian Eshback, and Max Lavelle but yeah, this is the band's sixth album, and it was the follow-up to uh, 2011's Ritual, which I thought was pretty good. And with uh, Ever Black, the band sort of had a lineup change from the pre from the previous album to this one. They had a new uh, sort of a bass bass player change and a drummer change. They had uh, on this album they had Max Lavelle, who used to play bass for Despised Icon, and. Uh, Alan Cassidy, who used to play for Abigail Williams. Now, of course, Black Dahlia Murder is known for having, like, uh, different lineup changes, and in my honest opinion, I think this is a really pretty good album. Like, I honestly thought this was their, when I first heard the album when it first came out, I thought it was their best since Nocturnal, and damn, it's just really great. The production on this album is just superb, like, like, it's prob probably just very beefy, very crunchy, just everything is where it needs to be. Um, the vocal work from Trevor Sternad is just superb. Like, his, like, high-range shrieks and just his low guttural growls are just so dark. Like, you could tell this is a, a really dark album, and I, I fucking love it. Um, Guitar-wise, Brian Eshbach and Ryan Knight come up with some really sick guitar riffs. Like, the riffs that Brian comes up with are really great. And just the shredding from Ryan Knight is just amazingly good. Good, like, pro probably just the tone, of the guitar tone on this album is just the probably the best. Like, it's just very crunchy, very thick and heavy. The bass playing the, you, the, is really audible and prominent like also with the guitar tone the bass tone on this album just sounds fucking bitchin like goddamn i don't even know what to say and the drummer drummer work from what can i say first album with alan cassidy and he had a lot of shoes to fill after the previous drummer shannon lucas left and my god he filled in those shoes perfectly i think he's probably still in my opinion the best drummer black dahlia has still going right now nothing against shannon but alan just takes a step further but without further ado let's sign this album track by track now the album opens up with in hell is where she waits for me which i think is a superb album it's kind of slow it's a little slow but then it just goes right into the fit to your face it's just wow just insanely good and just brutal a brutal way to start off this album and then we go into the next two tracks, Go to Departure and Into the Ever Black, are just packed with crushing riff. riffs, are brilliantly paced up so that the guitars and sort of like the rhythm section play off each other. They're, and just like the first two tracks alone are just instantly punches you in the fucking face and it's just, goddamn, I just love it. And then we go into the next song, which is Raped in Hatred by Vines and Thorns, which I feel like it's, lyrically it's a theme song about sort of like the evil dead movies. It starts off with a very fluid melodic guitar intro followed by some crushing vo vocals. So, I just love Trevor's like deep god rolls come here in force and it just belts out those lyrics like a fucking demon. Perhaps one of the most melodic tracks on this album. Um, <laughs> Phantom Limb Masturbation. <laughs> just a <laughs> funny song. I just laugh every time I, I even hear that song. It's kind of similar to the song Into the Ever Black. It has only has a funnier title, but sick and yet funny lyrics and an even better so solo. And the lead sort of like takes you to sort of like a higher atmosphere, and it's so beautiful and has sort of like this eerie sound to it. Um, Control, another great song. I just love this. Love it. Uh, um, uh, Blood Mine, which is just very just sludgy and just very heavy. I just loved it, love it. Um, every rope has its noose, ha, has a very dark and 
ominous start and also has a dark meaning aesthetic it paints sort of like a picture of like death and doom and it's just it's almost kind of this sounds like it like musically it reminds me a bit of goat whore but with trevor singing it or perhaps the other way around and i just think it's a really good song um um their beloved abstency another good song i think if i it's just pretty sick and fuck. <laughs> and then the album closes with Map of Scars, which manages to horrify as death metal should sound. For It's just a really just gr great way to end this album. Now, overall, Ever Black by the Black Dahlia Murder is another good addition to the Black Dahlia Murder's discography. If I were to give this album a score, I'd probably give this a 9 out of 10. Just everything the Black Dahlia Murder has done is just superb. And I'm finally gone around to reviewing this wish i could have reviewed this when it first came out but like i said better late than never but yeah that's my review of ever black guys let me know in the comments what you guys think about it and i'll see you all in the next video and keep it metal